I often compare aquamation to flame-based cremation because the product that we get from both flame-based cremation and aquamation is the same. It's ash, but the methods of achieving that ash are different and the byproducts of producing that ash are very different. Flame-based cremation is probably the most common form of aftercare that is chosen for pets, and we're looking to change that. The biggest difference between aquamation and flame-based cremation is not only the energy used to perform both processes, but also the byproducts that occur after doing both of them. Aquamation uses electricity, water, and alkaline material, and its byproduct is a sterile effluent that's very environmentally friendly. Flame-based cremation uses fire, electricity, and gas, and it produces a carbon dioxide emission that's released into the atmosphere. Aquamation is gentle and slow. It uses water at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and the whole process takes roughly 24 hours. Fire-based cremation uses temperatures at 1600 to 1800 degrees, and the whole process takes less than two hours. I think the main benefit of using aquamation over fire-based cremation is that it's considered to be more gentle, whereas flame-based cremation is often considered pretty volatile.